Hey gang, Mr. Carey here to talk to you about subtraction with regrouping today. Subtraction with regrouping. All right, <clears throat> when we start subtraction, we always start subtraction in the ones place, just like addition, because if we need to, to borrow and regroup, we have, to, we have to get them from the tens place. We don't ever want to start anything down here because we may have to borrow from those places to get more in the ones place or the tens place or the hundreds place. So we always want to start in the ones place. Now, subtraction, simple enough. If you can subtract, you do it. If you can't, you've got to borrow and regroup. Now, I want to talk about that. That's why we're doing with the regrouping today. When you borrow and regroup, you change two places every time. Two places. I never want to see you going wham, 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 and changing all the numbers you see. Uh-uh. We change two places. Okay? You're going to borrow first. In order for one place to get bigger, the other place has to get smaller first. If you borrowed money from me, Mr. Carey, do you have $10? Sure. I have to give you my money first. I have my, my, my amount of money has to go down first. It's got to get smaller before yours can get larger. Okay? Make sense? If you borrow something, somebody's got to give it first before you have it. That's what borrowing means. So, when we start in the ones place, you're gonna, you only ever change two places. Okay? Smaller first, then the other one gets larger by a 10. We talked about adding 10s before in the addition video. When you add 10 to something, 7 plus 10, 17. 6 plus 10, 16. Okay? You simply put the 1 in the 10s column. All right, look at this problem. I've got 4,217 and I want to subtract 2,149. Okay? In the 1s column, I have 7 minus 9. Can I do that? Can I take seven from, 9 from 7? I can't. I have to get more ones. I don't have enough. What place do you go to to get ones? The next place over, you go to the tens. Well, in the tens place, do I have something I can borrow? I do. As long as there's not a zero, I can borrow from it. Now, you're gonna change two places. The first place will always get smaller. You're gonna borrow from it, so smaller here. One is gonna get smaller. It's gonna become a zero. Now this place gets larger. The, the 7 gets larger. It doesn't get larger by 1. It gets larger by 10. Because I'm taking a 10 over and I'm breaking it apart into 1s. 7 is going to become 17. Now I can go ahead and subtract here. All right? 17 minus 9 is 8. I'm done with the 1s place. I'm done. I'm not going to do anything else with it. Now I'm going to go to the 10s place and I'm going to start all over again. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I just did. Zero minus four, can I do that? I can't. I have to get more tens. Where do you go to get more tens? Next place over, you go to the hundreds. Can I do that? Is there something I can borrow from? There is. I'm going to make that smaller, two places now. Smaller, then larger. Smaller here, one. Larger here, that zero is going to become ten. 10 minus 4 is 6. I'm done with the tens place. Okay, I'm done. Now I'm going to go to the, to the hundreds place. I'm going to do it all over again. 1 minus 1, can I subtract? I can. What is 1 minus 1? It's 0. That's why we don't just cross everything out. You have to look, you got to ask. It's 0. Okay? 4 minus 2 in the thousands place is 2, and I have finished my subtraction problem. 2,068 is my answer. All right, let's take a look at this one over here. Same thing, I'm gonna start in the ones place. I have five minus eight, can I subtract? Can I do that? I can't. Where do you get more ones? From the tens. Are there any tens I can borrow? There aren't, okay? I have to get more tens before I can get more ones. Where do you go to get more tens? The hundreds, you go here. How many places am I going to change? Two. I need to get more of these. So smaller here, that's a five. Larger here, that's going to be a ten. I can't do anything here yet. I'm not done. All I did is change two places. That's it. Now I'm going to go back to the ones place and start my problem all over again. Notice I didn't go wham, wham, wham and change a bunch of numbers. Two every time, two places. Okay, I'm going back to the ones place. Can I do five minus eight yet? Nope, okay. Can I go to the tens place and borrow now? Yes, now I can. Smaller, nine, 
larger, 15. Now I can subtract. 15 minus 8 is 7. Tens place. I'm done with the ones now. Tens place. 9 minus 7. I can do that. What is it? It's 2. Hundreds place. 5 minus 8. Can I do that? I cannot. I've got to get more hundreds. Where do you go to get more hundreds? From the thousands. S two places. Smaller, larger. 5 is going to become 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. 2 minus 1 is 1. And I am done with my subtraction problem. 1,727. Let's put in some with some zeros. Let's do, uh, let's do 7,003 minus 4,345. All right. I'm going to start, as always, in the ones place, right? 3 minus 5, can I subtract there? I can't. Where do you get more ones? From the tens. Uh-oh, there are none there. I've got to get more tens first. Where do you get more tens from? From the hundreds. Uh, oh no, there are none there. Where do you get more hundreds from? From the thousands. So we've got to borrow several times. How many places do you change at one time? Two. Only two. Not wham, 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 and everything changes. Two places at a time. we got to change here and here. Okay? Need to borrow first. Smaller, seven becomes six. Larger, that zero becomes 10. Stop. Start, go back to the beginning and start over again. We changed two places. Start over. Can I subtract yet? No. Can I borrow? No, I gotta get more 10. Can I borrow there? Yes. Small, two places. Smaller, 10 becomes nine. Zero gets larger, 10. Stop. I changed two places, smaller, larger. Go back to the beginning. Can I subtract yet? No. Can I borrow now? Yes. Smaller, two places. Nine, larger. Thirteen. If you will have discipline and you'll get yourself to only change two places at a time, smaller, larger, and then start over, you will not screw this up. You won't mess it up. Okay? So, two places at a time. 13, now we can subtract. 13 minus 5 is 8. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. Okay? So you get 2,658. Look how we regrouped. Two places at a time. We went smaller, larger, smaller, larger, smaller, larger. We went two places at a time. All right? If you click on the link, there's some practice for you, okay? Have discipline. Look and see if you need to borrow. If you do, if you can, change two places. First one gets smaller, next one gets larger. Work hard, Cardinals. I'm proud of you.